Greetings everyone, welcome back to another one of my basics games. For those of you who are unaware of what that is, it is a series where we do not really apply too much in the way of Kuseki or Tuseki knowledge uh, in our games. We focus mainly on where the large points are, we focus on shapes for ourselves, shapes, a little bit of shapes for our opponent. Maybe we can do a little bit of poking here and there, that kind of thing. And try not to get very complicated in our go. Just Direction of play, large points, shape things, that sort of deal. Now, we are trying to use uh, basics in terms of building to accomplish this, and that's proving to be a little bit difficult on Taijem, where they like trying to kill you completely. That's in my next series. Oh man, next series, basic fighting. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, this server is gonna be amazing. Basic fighting is going to be so great, but please, for the love of everything, can I just get one building game on Taijin before I switch? That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for the world. I'm not asking for the world here, people. Just want one game. Seems like we got ourselves a game. He's 50 and 20, so this guy is the might be pretty is uh, good. Ooh, we're black too. I might just throw down a sand rinse just to ensure we get at least one building game in. I don't know. He's not leaving too. That's good. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Because his 3 4 stone is facing me, that gives me a larger side here that I can approach from, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Alright, now if we want to build, how would we build? How do we do it? It's kind of tough to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to split his stones, and make sure these two stones can't connect. He's trying to enclose me, so I'm going to split again, and make sure those can't connect. He's attaching to me. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to have to play here as a result. And then he wants to cut me, so I'm going to have to defend that as a result. Now we're threatening to surround. Still threatening to surround. Or we can attack here for growth. Okay, he's expanding. Uh, let's go ahead and do the enclosure idea. He took one, we'll take the other. Let's just let's just enclose. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna surround things. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. Um, do I have to respond to that? If he throws in here, there could be a slight no there isn't. Alright, let's uh, use my influence and approach a corner. We're just gonna keep building. That's all we're gonna do. We got a building game. Not a framework game so much, but because it's a building game, I like it. Nice and simple. I want to try to grow this a little bit, so I will jump on out so I can build a little bit of this area. Ooh, pincer here, yes or no? I'm actually going to wait for a minute so you guys can think about this one on your own. Do you pincer this? If you're trying to build, pincering, we get a wall. Wall, we get influence. Do I pincer? Do I not pincer? No, we don't. Reason why is because of this stone. I don't really like the pincer because if he jumps up, I'm so enclosed. It's so, it's so bad news. I will back off here. Okay. This I'm tempted to actually come out on. I might actually do a two space here. No, I won't. I will just take my corner. Be nice and solid. That is too small. I will not respond to that one. I'm sorry. Um, tell you what. I'm going to do something, but what am I going to do? I don't know. I want to lean here for influence. Third line stones. When you're trying to build, you want to look for low stones you can either cap or shoulder hit. Those are really, really good ones. Uh, I don't know. This... I kind of want to play here. But it might lead to fighting. Might lead to fighting. I'm just going to jump out. I'm just going to just jump out. It's fine. We're just going to jump. Now if I lean here, there's no fighting, and if I cap uh, this group off, like, I don't know, here or here or something, no fighting there either, just nice clean cap. But we're going to try and do it in a forceful manner. We're going to try to surround this group over here on the left, we're trying to a little bit on the forceful manner. Give me, give me a corner so I can try what I'm talking about. Like, I might play a move like this first, see if he responds. I might play a move like this then, with a follow-up, see if you... Ooh. Oh... Someone doesn't want me doing that. But you know, I think he's left a little bit too much Aji behind. So I'm gonna play here. 
just gonna come out again. I can threaten to surround, or I can threaten to surround again. And this time, he can't say no. I get one or the other. This move I want to fight is pretty good. Because it begs the question, like, how, how defended are you in here? Do I get to go over top and get a wall here? Maybe. I don't know. He's thinking, what does he want to do? What does he want to do? What, what does he want to do? He's going to do that. Um, but play here, the most obvious answer for him to answer like this and try to do a split. I think I'm going to preemptively defend my, my little shape here. Preemptively a little bit. And then I'm going to play that. That way if he plays here, I just don't care. I can just play this and then we're good. You don't care that I'm going to literally surround you? <sighs> We're not trying to fight. 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 Taking a large move. I'll do some kind of cap or shoulder to this later to build. We're going to go and say no to this. That's probably too small though to be completely to be completely honest with you. This move is also one to take note of. Because of this, you can see the push and there's a cut point. So you don't push and then poke, so that's that's bad. Um This is a little strange, to be completely frank with you. He wants to poke through me. Doesn't work. I have enough shape here. I mean, even if you were uncertain how many eyes are here, I mean, you can read that I've got this, right? So this group is... this group's not in trouble. Maybe he's just seeing if I knew how to respond. That makes me a lot stronger, to be completely honest. I mean, he could have come in from this side, maybe, or over here, or something like that. I don't know. I'll just make an eye over here. Let's do it this way. Bam, look at that one eye. Got an eye shape all over the place. See? Got eye shapes. And just like I told you, we're gonna borrow the other one from here. Easy life. Um now maybe you can't quite read this is easy life or not, so I'm gonna do one more thing that's really, really easy. I'm gonna Hane here, and I'm gonna force him to connect up. I know it's a little bit gross, right? I know, I know what you're thinking. That's you're thinking that's gross. But if you can't read that out, like if for some reason you're not sure if this is a thing or not, now you do. Now you know. There's like there's nothing there. He can't play this ever and connect back. We just like play here. So we're good. Um, I can play here though. Oh, I still want to mess with this group. I'm gonna try to keep him honest. I want to see if I can stop him from coming in here anymore. I just want to keep him honest. Like this is not a reduction to me. Good, 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 good. That's honesty. This is a little bit less honest. Now I'm seeing if he cuts me because that works. Um, I think we're good. I'm going to leave that as is, I feel. Yeah, I'm going to leave that as is. I'm just making sure that he can't do anything like clamping here or like doing that or whatever. There's no way for this to come through. That's all we're, that's all we're doing here. If he goes here, I don't care. I'll tire him, right? So this is a pretty solid wall that we have now, which I like. And now from here, I also have the option of playing this, because he can't do that, right? So this is group is totally fine, which means we want to play a larger move. So as a result, I'm going to play here. Just surround something else. Go is called the surrounding game, and when you're trying to build, just find things to surround. 
Like, we found a way to surround this, and it gave us this. We found a way to surround this, and now it might be giving us this. If I can surround this somehow, it gives me this. Just find things to surround. Now, I don't want to be greedy. He wants to go on the second line. He can go on the second line. It's good. Uh, it's good. I'm not going to try to, like, hane or throw in or, like, do any crazy reading. Just, just going to play this. Easy. He has to reduce all this because this, this is a lot of points. Now, here he's trying to link up underneath. You can see that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn and prevent it. Now, I have to, I ask myself, seriously, heart-to-heart -heart question, do I just want to kill him right now? Because these don't have anything going for them. But I feel like I don't. So I'm just going to lock him out of this immense middle area, and I'm just going to be happy. Don't create cutting points, which is why I didn't play that. I'm not giving him any strength. Like, these are all nicely strong shapes strong bamboo joint this goes into boom easy peasy this goes into a solid corner a solid corner and this which is great oh no he can't read that out he thinks that we're dead oh But we play here, and then we're fine. He's going to play this now. But again, we're going to be okay because of this one. See, he can't... He can't get rid of our eyes. In fact, I could... Nah, I won't do it. I'm just going to go and play here. It's okay. See, there's no way for me to get rid of our eyes. And while he did this... I, I can make an eye again here, so there's... And I can take this, there's actually no reason to worry. There's no reason to worry. But I like this cutting point, so I'm actually going to play here right now, because I want to preserve this. I want to be able to play this. Like, right now I want to play it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. But if he plays here, and I play there... Hmm. Maybe I should. Yeah, let's just take these two stones. And this is actually pretty large. That could have been endgame. Take these and sente, push me back. Yeah, that could have been that could have been bad. Uh anything in here. The throw in actually works. If we're actually reading, we can read in here, 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 here. And then if he goes there, I can go there. So that's pretty big. I can throw in here, he has to connect, then I get to a target, and then he has to play there, and then I can go here. And here's I. Okay. So that... Oh my god, we actually got a building game in! Oh my god, we got a building game. Please tell me I remember... Did I remember to hit record? I did hit record. Okay, good. Oh, we got a building game in. And we didn't resort to San Rense. I want to go over some of these topics. We went through them a little bit fast. Because I had three games where people resigned because I was taking too long trying to explain things. Um, so let's let's really stop here and take a look at this game. So we opened up like this, right? I was thinking about San Rinse, but then he gave me this. Now let's think. Let's let's take a moment here. Let's really take a moment and look at why that move is so much more interesting than this move. Like, if he plays here, uh, I can't number on Tai Gem, right? Alright, turns out I can't count to 10 on Tai Gem. It just doesn't let me do it. I try, it just goes back to 1. Okay, so let's just look at this uh, in a less confusing manner. There. So if we count lines between the two stones, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 from here to here, right? And it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 from here to here, and 11 from here to here. 
It's 12 from here to here, that one extra, but that's like his growth, that's not mine. If we look at the actual game, because he played this stone facing me, then suddenly when, let's make his stone a 4-4 four, four real quick. If I was trying to determine what stone I want to face, if we go by opening theory and we want to approach the largest side, then suddenly we can count, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 here, 12 here, this is suddenly the larger side. So that makes it a, a bit rare opportunity to try to get more for yourself than otherwise you can if his three four stones were facing each other or he was just playing four four points. So that's why that's why that move was exciting and determined where our second move was gonna go because we're already adhering to opening theory. We did this, I split him, um, normally I would play here, but I didn't really want to get into any complicated Jiseki as per the uh, rules of this particular uh, thing. Let's just go over some really brief examples of what he could have done. Uh, if he plays over here, for example, then I can play like maybe the attachment, or I can play the small knight and just like have fun, right? Even if I didn't Hana here and I wasn't sure if, if I could get away with it, I can get a wall and then attack this. Everything's fine. So we split here. We prevented him from enclosing us because that's really, really important. He attached to us. We didn't ignore because he's attaching to our stone. Defending our cut points. That's part of the series as well. We want to protect our cut points. Same thing. Then he makes this little three space extension, which is good, which is good. Um, we surround as a result. We might play here immediately, but the downside is if he goes back and plays something else, it's now on us to figure out like, oh, how, where's our profit coming from since, you know, he should have come out and mm, he didn't. So how do we profit from that now? Who cares? There are two things on this board that we can do right now. We can surround or we can attack. If we attack, that gets into a fighting game. We can surround, so we can get into a building game. So we surrounded. He attached, we responded, protected the cut points. You could make an argument that you could go back and play here now and like just treat this lightly or something, but no. We're using our influence to approach. Again, for the same reason. If I play here and he plays, not that, but something down here then. Oh man, it's once again on me to figure out what to do to those stones. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That wasn't the game that I wanted to play. So we aren't playing that kind of game. So I'm like, bam, we're going to approach. He did this again, which is OK. Now, we're only getting one, two, three, four lines per. But that's OK, because he's only getting two lines per and two lines per. And maybe two lines per here. So this is this is OK. Plus, we have two cornerstones available for us as well. So we're, we're pretty comfortable. Um, now, realistically, I should mention, like, what do I think we might be able to get into this? Honestly, from right now, if I review, maybe I can use you. I don't, okay, I can't actually do, the, I can't actually do those markers. Oh, well. Um, from here, I don't actually anticipate getting this line. I might get this line, but I'm anticipating anything in here. I'm thinking maybe this is territory. Not much right now, mind you. Because there's this. But for now, that's okay. For now, that's fine. Here we didn't pincer. Because if we did pincer... That's not a pincer either. If we did pincer, he jumps out. And then he threatens to enclose us. Ooh, do we go back and defend now? And then what, defend, maybe a poke? Oh god, this just got so much stronger because we tried to pincer. I mean, why Why were we trying to pincer here? It just invites him to connect up all of his stuff. That's it's not very good. Then maybe he gets the influence, maybe he can expand and do what we were trying to do, and suddenly that's growing and he's getting the influence. That's totally the opposite of what we wanted. Still a game, I guess, but not really the game that we were looking for. So I backed off here and here, and then I jumped out. Uh, Sente would have been something along the lines of this. And then seeing if we can just get some kind of 
wall from that because suddenly, ah, oh, look at that building. The building we're making in the middle of the board is pretty special at this point. Same thing, got Mii, we can enclose, we can surround or surround, just playing the surrounding game, that's all we're doing. Just playing that surrounding game, this didn't hurt our center, so we took a corner, which means that move is a mistake he should have approached. Keep him out of that, we're completely alive here, we can see all sorts of different ways to make shape, not really all that troubled by it. We get Sente, we're not going to play small moves like, oh, let's play that right now. It might be okay, but mm, I didn't like it too much. Let's just surround something else. And threaten to surround something else. And threaten to surround something else. And the minute I can't threaten to surround anything, take territory. Just secure it. The minute you can't threaten to surround anything, minute you can't start growing anymore, or maybe you're uncertain if it's sente, if you can keep growing, just start, just solidify it. Just start solidifying. This was, I won't lie, this was exceptionally strange. And now that I think about it, I probably should have played this one here because that doesn't go anywhere. I meant to click on this one, sorry. Because see, this doesn't really go anywhere. And if he plays this, I'm just going to play there. Now he can't get rid of this. I mean, he can do this, I guess. I guess maybe that's a bad idea. No, it's okay, because we still got this. We can just go ahead and play here, and if he tries to really hurt us, I mean, he can't even make this eye vanish. So I don't care how many forcing moves he has, it doesn't look like he can really do it. We've got plenty of eye ways to make eye shape, which is why I was not at all concerned. And that, of course, completely overlooks the fact that we can cut here and just be good. Yeah, see here he's making me more shape. I approve of the attempt. Doesn't go anywhere. But here he resigned. If he was going to continue this game, he'd have to extend here. That's Gote, though. This area's kind of growing, so we'd want to consider playing a move into here, maybe. Um, we could think about leaning here if we were playing a more aggressive game, because this suddenly threatens to surround again. So he'd have to be careful, maybe giving us a larger corner than we originally anticipated. That's cool. Last thing I want to talk about is this. If we had gotten the opportunity to play here, you might say you can't do that because you're dead. But am I really? Am I really dead here? Maybe not, huh? Maybe not not uh, quite so dead as you think I am. So you might say, okay, that's fine. He just won't he, he just won't attire you then. But then that's done then we 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 did good. Actually No. Yeah, we did good. He connects underneath, which is not that, but this. This is Gote for the moment, so we would just go about, you know, our daily life. Being like, ah, it's probably Sente, and then... I don't know, maybe this is going to be Sente. Maybe that's Sente first, I don't know. Maybe I can... Maybe I can poke here or something. You kind of get the idea. Now you have to worry about his eye shape. You have to like, make an eye or something there. Maybe here instead? Yeah, maybe that one's better. And then we'll just go back and play here, because if he takes, well, it just gives us Sente again. Right? Like, how many times will he do that? Is that really worth what we just got there? Not so much. Not so much. So you can get the idea of uh, playing influence games, trying to surround, or trying to build things like that. What you're looking for is how, where, like, where are those forcing moves? Where are, the, where are those forcing moves? Hope you enjoyed this game. A uh, good example of how to play a building game on TyJam even. I'm going to say goodbye to this server and I'm going to jump back up to, I think, IGS. Play a building game there. It's going to be a lot easier, let me tell you. 
after the IGS game, we're going to get into basic fighting. Oh, that's going to be fun. We can play pretty much anyone we want on Taijim at that point, because everyone's going to try to fight us. And for the first time, we can start punching back. So I hope you enjoy that series, too. As always, hope you enjoy the videos, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.